Welcome to our lecture online. Some of us, which includes me, enjoy science fiction movies and quite often science fiction movies deal with the end of the world. The world becomes unlivable and people have to find another place to live. Well, turns out that uh, Interstellar is one of those movies where it's becoming more and more difficult to grow crops on the earth. People may be starving to death in the near future, and so we're looking for places to move to, to get humanity away from the Earth. Is there ever going to be a time where that may be necessary? And the answer is a definite yes. That's not a science fiction, except in the sense that it's a very long time from now. So we probably don't need to worry about that. But one day, the world will come to an end. Humanity will either have to move away from the Earth or will perish on the Earth. And why is that? Well, it turns out not everything will remain the same as we know it now. The sun is a star, and the sun at its core produces a lot of energy. It does that by converting hydrogen into helium, and it does that at a tremendous rate. Well, when hydrogen turns into helium, a small amount of the mass is converted to energy via the equation that we're familiar with, where E equals mc squared. So a small amount of mass multiplied by the speed of light squared, and the speed of light is a very big number, well, that produces a lot of energy. So matter is being turned into energy in the core of the sun. Now, the temperature in the core of the sun is about 15 million degrees Kelvin, about 30 million Fahrenheit. And so it's very hot in there, a lot of energy is produced, and what that does is the energy that's being produced pushes against the forces of gravity, and there's a balance between the radiation pressure, all that energy being produced, pushing the sun outward, and the enormous gravitational forces trying to push the sun inward. And at some point, there's a balance between the two, and so therefore the sun has a particular size based upon that balance. So the radius of the sun is about 696,000 kilometers, and that's because there's that nice balance between the force of gravity and the radiation pressure pushing back. But one day in the future, the core will completely exhaust its available hydrogen, and the, the entire core will have been turned into helium. And then, of course, this process will stop. As soon as that process stops, the radiation pressure is no longer what it used to be, and the gravitational forces begin to win over. And so what happens is the core begins to collapse because there's not enough energy being produced to push against the force of gravity. Well, the core collapsing due to gravitational forces will continue to add additional energy to the core. The core will get hotter and hotter, and eventually the core will reach a temperature of about 100 million degrees. When it does, it will begin to turn helium into carbon. Well, when that happens, an enormous amount of energy, more so than before, will be created in the core, and an enormous amount of radiation will be produced, increasing the radiation pressure, and now the radiation pressure will become larger than the force of gravity, and so the radiation pressure will begin to expand the entire sun, and the sun will become bigger and bigger and bigger. The sun will turn into what we call a red giant. Well, notice that the three innermost planets are Mercury, Venus, and the Earth, and of course they're a very long distance away from the sun. But what happens when the sun turns into red giant? Well, the sun will be begin to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and so the sun will expand, and will expand, and will expand, and as the sun gets bigger and bigger and bigger, notice what happens, it gets closer and closer and closer to Mercury, and eventually Mercury will get swallowed up by the sun. Essentially, Mercury will simply get vaporized. Mercury will cease to exist and will become a plasma vapor inside the sun. But that's not where it stops. The sun will continue to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually, it will expand to the point where Venus will get swallowed up by the sun. Well, essentially, Venus will become vaporized. It will simply disappear. And now Earth will be the closest planet to the sun. But where will the sun stop? Well, we do calculations and we believe 
that the sun will stop expanding before it reaches the earth which means that again the radiation pressure is balanced with the forces of gravity but now because the sun is so big the radiation pressure is much greater than it was before the balancing will be at a point where the sun is much bigger and notice the size of the sun now it has become what we call a red giant well what will happen on the earth well first of all the sun will be much closer to the earth and the sun will be huge in size an enormous amount of energy will be produced so temperatures will rise to very high degrees and what will happen is the oceans will boil away everything will burn to a crisp on the surface of the earth there will not be a thing alive on the surface of the earth it will be a super hot planet where no life will be possible and so that will indeed be as we call the end of the earth it will be extremely hot oceans boiled away everything burned nothing left and notice how big will the sun be in the sky and if you draw an angle like this, the estimation is that the angle will be about 80 degrees or so. Well, the angle currently from the Earth to the Sun is about a half a degree. And so 80 is 160 times bigger than the Sun is today. So the Sun will appear in diameter 160 times bigger and in area the sun will cover an area in the sky about 25,000 times as big as the sun appears today. That would be quite a sight. Of course, bring your asbestos suit if you want to stay behind. It will get very hot, but you'll have a tremendous view of this enormous star, the sun, in front of you covering a significant portion of the sky. Probably about a quarter of the sky will be covered by the sun. Of course, Hopefully by then, you will have stepped into a spaceship and gone to another place because Earth will at that point be unlivable. That will be literally the end of the world. Will it be just as bright? Oh, it'll be tremendously bright. Yeah, it'll be unbelievably bright.